Oh, hello. I didn't see you come in. I am practicing my piano. I hope you enjoy it. I just wanted to let everyone know before we get into the podcast that Mark's album, Mark Brady Incognito, is now and still available on all major streaming platforms. Spotify, Apple Music, and that's it. Just those two are the main ones. I also wanted to let you all know, this is one of my favorite parts right here. I'm very talented at piano. I I don't know that I've ever told anybody that, but I hope you're enjoying this little sneak peek at uh, some of my other hobbies. But I I also wanted to let everybody know that we have our, we are now making bonus episodes of the podcast for our Twitch subscribers and Patreon members that you can find in the extras section of our Discord. We're doing watch-alongs, challenges, voicemail episodes, and who knows? We don't want to limit ourselves, ourselves. So we're, we're leaving it open and uh, all kinds of, of different bonus episodes, but those will be a weekly bonus episode of some sort. So thank you all to everybody that listens and everyone that has subscribed. And if you want to hear more of us, then just pop over to the Discord and uh, check out those links. Oh, here we go. Here's one of my favorite parts. So enjoy the rest of my uh, wonderful piano playing and and then enjoy the podcast. Thank you very much. (laughs) (laughs) Books, movies, songs, any sort of, of, of content with the word head in it. Think of, think of it and say it out loud with your mouth. Okay. Oh, go. Any anything with uh, the band? There's a band, Machine Head. There you go. Okay, Machine Head's one. Talking Head is Ted's is another one. Okay. Okay. Um, I think we did it. I think we're warm. Pyramid Head. <laughs> yeah, I What else with head? Song Head. Uh, Pyramid Head's in a duffel bag. There you oh go. My oh my god! Man. You remember that? <laughs> um, Joe I, Pesci. I I only know Joe Pesci movies. <laughs> What are, um, yeah, what's another the, movie what's with the, head in it? The what is it is it Pyramid Head, Triangle Head from from uh, Silent Hill? Mm-hmm. I think okay. so. Yeah, Cone Heads. Cone, cone Heads. 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 Cone heads. Out? Perfect. Yeah. Cone heads cone heads. One. God. I learned. Okay. Speaking of Cone Heads, um, I learned an interesting tri- piece of trivia about Lorne Michaels and all of his movies. For some reason, he insists on them all being on, like, sunny sky backgrounds. Interesting. Or, mm. or for the, the, the trailer, or not the, excuse me, not the trailer, but like the poster. The movie form. poster. The movie poster, mm. they, they, ha- they are on sunny sky backgrounds. And if you go, like, there's, there's only, like, one or two that, that, are, that don't fit that. But if you go through and look at them, it's crazy because almost all of them are. Like, so every like SNL character lead has that. Yeah, and, oh and like God. Tommy Boy, Black Sheep, Coneheads, Happy Gilmore, Happy Gilmore, Happy Gilmore. Yeah, yeah like all the the early Sandler stuff. It's, did they make uh, Coneheads too? Does that? Did they make a Coneheads too? I don't know. Can't. I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> You you know, Coneheads wasn't a bad movie, but it is it is crazy to be like they I can't like did they make a Coneheads two and then someone would be like they made a Beverly Hills Chihuahua four or some shit where it's like <laughs> holy god you just made me real sad yeah I know I'm sorry art is dead <laughs> and nothing That's a matters. real downer <laughs> yeah I don't think there is one yeah okay. I think I talked Fast and the Furiouses. (laughs) Yeah, that's true. Yeah. 
We've yeah, I I turned it off when it was Tokyo Drift, where it was like, then we're gonna learn how to. Uh, you're gonna win this race by like sliding a little bit, and it's like, <laughs> all right, man, I'm out. Text then... board a little slide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. that was the tagline for the movie, wasn't it? <laughs> What slide a little bit takes more than a little slide, I think. <laughs> Slip sliding away. <laughs> is it? Is that really? Is it, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing is like they're running it's out. So, it's so bad that you have to like double check. Like, did they do that? Because that sounds like a passable thing, right? Yeah, yeah. And then when you think of both the Rock and uh Groot have in their contracts that they can't lose fights like they're like they're they're never going to be seen on camera in that movie franchise losing a fight it's like okay well what's the point like what there's no stakes really is that true that's their personal contract to the movie (laughs) makers i'm (laughs) almost positive like that that they that uh vin diesel and the rock are like will not be shown losing a fight on camera wow i feel like the rock makes sense but like vin diesel he's old now like he can lose a fight (laughs) yeah vin diesel i yeah that's a great point yeah vin diesel's gotta lose a fight i mean yeah i mean but like okay i I get i I agree with that but these like at some points in these movies they're almost essentially fighting the transformers like they're just fighting cars flying at them Oh, okay Mm -hmm. like they're just human beings like I remember he lost a fight in uh, Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> you remember that scene? Early uh-huh. Vin Diesel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Early VD. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> uh, well, hi, guys. Hey. Hey. Evening Hello. to everybody. Uh, we've got an interesting show today, tonight. Let's, uh, let's keep it moving. Let's go. I've got a great word. The, the Hubble... And this is a clue, so use this as a clue to infer from it what you want. Okay. About the word and its meaning. The Hubble got me thinking last week, and I did some looking and learning. And I've learned a new word that I want you all to guess at. It's called, the word is called, I don't think that's how you like to talk about words. The word (laughs) is syzygy. Oh. Syzygy. Oh, do you know this one? Ah, I almost do. You almost know this. <laughs> that is fascinating how you almost know a thing. What is it? Physigy? Syzygy. S-Y-Z. Y-G. Y. Like fizzy energy. <laughs> okay, that's a good guess. That's that's a guess. That is, is that a your good final answer? Physigy? Physigy cool. energy? Maybe. That's okay. I'm going to pick That's too back. easy. That's too easy. And and for everybody listening, no, there is fine. a fourth person here with us, right? That we haven't introduced yet. So the voice, please don't be confused by that. It's still Mark, Stephen, and Jeff, but also a fourth. We'll be so, introduced shortly in just in just a minute. We we like to edge people here, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 That's who the guest is and the word. That's right. Yeah. A lot of tension building right at the beginning of the show. <laughs> Physigy. I mean, I, I don't know, Tank. Oh, oh, wow. Fucking blown. <laughs> edit, edit that out. <laughs> yeah. Edit that we, out. Like to, we like to edge people here. You just, <laughs> you just blew it. <laughs> well, they like to be like edged. That's why they keep coming back. Yeah. Uh, Fizzy energy. So is it, I'll, 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 I'll piggyback off that. It's the energy when you shake up a carbonated drink. Okay. All right. It's That's like, a great guess. It's like Diet Coke Mentos, that energy mm-hmm. is fizzergy. Oh. Nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you guess the Mentos soda combo. <laughs> All right, Steven, down to you. It's it's something to do with like planets aligning or something like that. Okay. It's like All right. getting all exactly smart. Know. Something like, I'll just say when the planets align with fizzy energy (laughs) how close close are we you are the closest for sure wow okay i'm disappointed and also offended there's a little bit it's a science word (laughs) i know science word (laughs) it's an 
astronomy term, and it's when three celestial bodies line up in a straight line. Oh. Wow. Three. Three. What's so a celestial or, body? Is that a planet? It's a planet. Okay. Or a, a sun. Uh, and a daughter. You know, a star. So if a daughter's, <laughs> if a dad's taking a son and a daughter on if, a walk. If somebody launches their daughter out into space and she lines up between Earth and the moon. Okay. Syzygy. Okay. So, so any object in space would be a celestial body? I don't think that's true. I, I, I think now, now I'm very concerned or confused. I, I want to, I, let's quickly find out what an, exactly a celestial body is. Okay. Yeah. We're going to have to know. Well, I don't, don't want to give wrong information. Of course not. Well, well who, I mean, that up. do you want to <laughs> definition <laughs> of celestial body, an aggregation of matter in the universe, such as a planet star or nebula that can be considered as a single unit. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Uh, it sounds like a, like a planet. Or... That's but harder than the have... word. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, but you could also have all three. You could have like a, a mixed bag lineup. Probably. Like a yeah. star, a nebula, and a planet. And that can be considered. That would be a scissorgistic uh organization or not organization but alignment <laughs> okay i believe as long as those three were in a straight line any mix of planet star nebula synergistic uh, alignment great okay yeah, we'll, i we're think probably i gonna never know. use this word again in our lives but <laughs> i'm gonna use it now you know all the time <laughs> okay <laughs> And you had to explain celestial body to that person immediately <laughs> yeah, yeah. now yeah. hold on here's an addendum to my comment <laughs> Let me add that. Let me already tell you what you want to know next. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, we have a we have a guest with us. Mark, do you want to introduce? Yes, I do. Thank you. This guy, you know him, you love him. <laughs> we uh, this is a guy that um, we've done comedy together a long <laughs> time. I think he's super funny, um, and it has recently moved. I say recently. What was it? It's been three years. He's moved down to Atlanta, <laughs> and he's been uh, doing comedy there. And I really want you guys to check out his stuff. He's got an amazing podcast called Full Service Podcast. Please give it up for Tank Smith, everybody. Tank oh Smith. my God! It feels so good to be here. Thanks for thanks for having me on the podcast. This is fun. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. man. Thanks for coming. Sure. Thanks for for hanging out atlanta i was in there i was living there for 2020 i was in midtown what's that comedy club uh the laughing school yes okay yeah i was a couple blocks from that oh and nice okay sweet heck yeah i never got to go because that's like i got there when covid started so oh, yeah man. but i feel like georgia with oh. georgia was wide open though like it really wasn't like covid really even happened down here <laughs> <laughs> right yeah it was handled differently <laughs> Every everyone everyone does something different i guess but wow yeah. what a weird year okay so you were there in atlanta you went through all that oh yeah it was great okay, <laughs> okay. <It's> great. <laughs> <laughs> 2020 was my best year <laughs> my best year in like five years i didn't have a job i was hanging out the whole year it was wonderful oh okay yeah <laughs> same with me and that wow oh. oh look at that it was beautiful well, yeah, I miss I miss Raleigh. It's it's, but it's not. I, I mean, I love Atlanta though. It's it's great. Yeah, no, you're you're in the right place. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So we, I wanted to have you. It's so funny, um, that I told the guys, I shot them a message. I was like, hey, I want to, I want to have Tank on, and they immediately remembered. They go, oh, that's the guy with the podcast. Like, because we had talked about, we had talked about guests, and I was, I brought you up before, and. I remember I was just telling them before you got on tonight that I was like, I remember you were in, we're at Good Nights Comedy Club and you you tell me your idea for a podcast and you're like I think I'm gonna do a podcast about this and I go, that sounds like the best idea for a podcast <laughs> I've heard because it's original. Um, I think it's every something that everyone would want to check out and and know and it, it's so interesting. And again, it's it's original. I mean, 
any anyone can have three dipshits talking about science and words um, in video games on a podcast, but don't sell yourself oh, wow. short. <laughs> well, wait a second, Mark. You've done a great job starting to edge me again. What, what, what is this podcast about? Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh man, uh, keep it. Yeah. Keep your boners in your hand and listen to this. Keep Thanks. your boners in your hands, hell yeah. That's actually, that's a good tagline for the podcast, actually. Mm. Uh, but yeah, so my podcast, I interview sex workers, and that's anybody from like escorts to like porn stars to someone that does like cam modeling. I've had like phone sex operators, people that uh, sell panties. Mm. And so basically I like, you know, I'll interview them, ask them like how they got in the industry, what their experience has been you know, like doing sex work and uh, it's a lot of fun. I mean, I remember like when I told you, I meant to do it to a few people before I started the podcast and I was like, A, like are people going to want to hear this and like will people even like want to talk to me because it is like, and I'm talking to people, like it is illegal, you know, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but there's like so many people that are doing it on both sides, like sex workers and also like clients. It's not like this thing that so many people are doing and like nobody talks about it so i was like yo let's talk about it like find out what's going on like it's it's a lot <laughs> yeah. of fun such and, a great <sighs> yeah we, we've also mentioned that uh, first of all that's the oldest profession in the book right and yeah. then and then on top of that like you were saying like it's it's hard to talk about because it's illegal but also it is the least corruptive thing that goes on in the world <laughs> yeah you know, there are so much worse shit that's happening in the world. The fact that people are like, well, you can't be doing sex stuff because it's naughty. <laughs> and they I'm brag like, dude, about. Yeah. I'm like, you're just making people happy. I'm like, what are you? How is that a bad thing, dude? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Also, I don't. Is there anyone else doing a podcast like that? Like, I don't. Not really on the like client side, I guess, because when I first got in, I'm like, oh, I'm a client doing this podcast for an interview people. There are a few like sex workers that interview kind of other sex workers, but this is the only kind of okay. like client, oh. like comedian kind of podcast. So what of a kind, I'd say. Yeah, exactly. Definitely. For sure. So when you said that, I was just like, my brain immediately got hard. I was like, that's fucking great. You know, <laughs> so um, which brings me to my first question uh, and that I because I don't want to forget it. Do you, when you ask for interviews, do they charge their hourly rate? <laughs> the I got one time, yes. Like at the at the beginning, I was like, at the beginning, wow. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to pay to interview people, right? And yeah, this one, like I did this interview, and I think she was like two fifty an hour, and I was like, hey, I'll uh, can I interview you? And and so it was like to 250 and I, I paid and then i got done and i was like well i guess that's that's it <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah like, literally she she had an alarm set on her phone and as soon as that timer went oh. off it was like all right see you later oh, <laughs> oh, geez, damn she's it. been doing it a while <laughs> yeah so i've had people that have like I, I hit them up and then they were like yeah in order to do the podcast it's going to cost like one girl was like, yeah, like 300 bucks, 500 God bucks. Damn. And then I was like, uh, I can't do that. I don't have a job. So, right. Yeah. You know what? I'm sure they're, they're used to negotiating, right? Like <laughs> Sometimes, but normally it's like frowned upon negotiations. Like, you know, it's like, oh, this is the rate. If you can't pay the rate, you can't, you know. Oh, really? Right? Okay. Yeah. So negotiations. Purely... Yeah. But okay. you think they would be like, I will do half because I'm just talking. I As do. opposed That's... to like do an hour with someone else where they're into like fucking, you know, I mean, dressing up in a costume or whatever. Yeah, it's, dude. I was like, That's... we're just talking. Can that, you know, but I was like, if I guess you're... I got to pay. I got to pay to get the, get the, co it was at the beginning. It's... Though, so when I didn't have anything, mm -hmm. you know, so I kind of get it. But right. I, was, and... I was still like, no. Yeah. <laughs> And you can't really advertise them either, right? Because then they'll get, they probably don't want to be found I'm, out. Well, no, I mean, no, dude, that's actually, that's, that's like the selling point now is like, it's like great advertising for them. Cause like, it's really? like, yeah, like if I go, like, say you're looking, trying to find an escort, you look up like their ad or whatever, and then there's like a link to where you can like listen to them talk. It's like such an, it's like humanizes them. We're like, oh my God, this is a real person rather than like pictures. Mm. So when people listen, like so many people have, 
just like booked people just off listening to them on the podcast. It's like a perfect selling point. No I'm, way. Yes, yeah. and you have one of the more interesting plug sections in yeah. all of podcasting. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, yes. Yeah. We yeah. should we, we should have a section on plugs uh, in this thing. <laughs> yeah, speaking of plugs. Dude, people so, people made so much money doing the doing the podcast. <laughs> I was so. I, what's, what's this now? You're making money podcasting. Who is? Who is? Right. We'll, we'll talk about this later. But this is fascinating. I didn't know that was a thing. I have so many questions. I'm sure a lot of us have so many questions. The most illegal thing I've done is like I lived in California and I went to this window tinting place. You know, and they said that sounds said, bad. Oh, oh, you got to sign this waiver that says. Uh, you know, you know that this is illegal in the state. I'm like, yeah, okay, that's fine. And then go ahead and take your windows. So, <laughs> what? How? How do you begin? Yeah, what's your starting? Like, that's a great. <laughs> yeah, how do you start? Yeah, <laughs> like literally, I didn't know anybody at all that had ever like seen an escort before. I had like, I didn't like. It's it's kind of thing like nobody talks about people like you'll see it in movies or something. But it's like I didn't know anybody who had done this. I literally. I was living in Raleigh. I Googled Raleigh escorts, like mm -hmm. went to the, like just started going on Google and just like looked at the websites. And I was like, Oh, nice. Okay, cool. And they just like looked on the internet. And, like you can find whatever you want on the internet. So, I'm, I'm listening guys. Damn. I just, but you know, it's going to look like I'm busy doing other stuff, but I'm here. I'm, I'm listening. Don't, <laughs> don't worry. Okay. No, I can see the reflection in your glass. No, you don't look at that. You got a tab don't open, look. don't you? No. <laughs> Whatever city you're in, all you got to do is put that city and then escorts, and then phew, you'll get some results. Wow. Is have you ever been like worried about like hitting like a, a trap by like police or something? Like, can you? Well, not the, you... like the whole illegality things is comes when it's like uh, like an explicit like money transaction for like a sexual act, right? So it's like I want to pay for sex, you know? Or it's like, what do I get? for this money like when i when you're talking to somebody like if you're gonna book somebody it's like hey can i schedule an hour appointment with you okay okay and then it's like it's assumed what will happen in that hour but you don't technically know what's gonna happen so as but long as you know <laughs> but you don't know so it's a mystery box oh, if you will I excuse see. the pun yeah yeah so okay so you never say it in text form yeah no you never okay. say yeah you're just like you oh, just for Got it. You uh, assume that both of you is wearing a wire. Yeah, it's hundred percent, dude. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But the cool thing is, like, I, I interviewed this uh this girl. She works at the Bunny Ranch in uh, Nevada, and like, where it is legal there, so you can like, when you get to the Bunny Ranch, it's like you you meet the person that you want to see, and then you act, discuss like exactly what's going to happen in the session before going into it. So like, both parties kind of like know what to expect versus where it's illegal, I might be expecting something to happen, you know, and then they might expect something, but it's like you can't really discuss it. So there's that gray area. It's it's, it's wild. So th this legal bunny ranch or whatever, do you you go in there, you discuss, do they give you like a form, like you're getting a massage, like you circle the areas you want them to focus <laughs> on and all that stuff? What your That'd pain be... level is. <laughs> need you to focus on my butthole. Can you do that? <laughs> need some love. Just every just big arrow. <laughs> huge circle in the area every time. Oh. Like the footboard is worn out right in that area. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. Okay. Yeah. Is is Nevada the the best place to go, you think? Um I guess if you want to feel safe. Like I, I always watch, did you ever see Cat House on HBO? Yeah. Back up. Yeah. So I always, I mean, I mean I, yeah. as a kid, <laughs> <laughs> real quick. Mark, very quick on the draw on that one. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I remember seeing Cat House when I was like 12 on HBO and being like, oh, man, I want to go there one day. That looks amazing. Wow. Uh, so, I mean, if I could go there and I had lots and lots of disposable income, you know, I'd go. But, uh, Actually, I suggest everybody. Everyone just go to the Bunny Ranch. But yeah, I mean, you can find you can find great people wherever you are, dude. They're they're every every they're like sex workers are everywhere. So I mean, it doesn't really matter where you are. But mm -hmm. my only my only suggestion is spend more money than less money. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
That's, that's great advice. That is, I love that advice because it's so personal. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that is that's a great point, and that's a great that's a great uh, note. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's like you're, it's, it's like it feels like you should be saying that over just a neat whiskey at a bar by yourself. <laughs> There's more money than less money, son. <laughs> It'll never lead you wrong. <laughs> well, you know, I always like to to make sure I over tip uh, people like that are handling my food. Mm. So, you know, these people are handling much different things that I want handled even more delicately than my food. So that's true. I so delicate. Yeah. <laughs> um, how old Forced were you? Like when you first, your first uh, yeah. attempt. So at 20, yeah. 28, I was 28. Okay. So I never yeah. even at that time, like been to like a strip club or anything. Like I like had got out of a relationship of like eight and a half years. And then I was like, wow. doing, I'm doing comedy every night. And then I'm like, what's the path forward? What's going to happen? And then I was like, well, I haven't had sex in a while. So let's do that. You know? Mm. And, uh, yeah, I was 28 and I mean, I was, I mean, I was nervous definitely at the beginning. Cause like, I didn't really know anything about it compared, definitely compared to now. Um, but I almost saw it as like buying weed, you know, it's like, I've, I've bought weed lots of times. I'm not afraid to buy weed. It's the same yeah, thing. Get, it's, the yeah, same. it's the same thing. You got to smell it before you buy it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, okay. So you didn't have anyone like show you how you just went in it by yourself. Dude, yeah, I didn't, like, okay. literally just read stuff on the internet about, like, kind of how to find people. Um, definitely Reddit. Reddit's a good resource. Um, but, yeah, sure. I, didn't, okay. I didn't know anybody, and I couldn't really, like, even really talk to anybody about it until, yeah. uh, like, one of my buddies was kind of doing it. And then I was like, oh, shit, well, I can talk to you. And then we just I had a, a, a secret buddy <laughs> where we could talk <laughs> oh, about nice. that. Oh, really? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, whenever I don't know how to do something, I just YouTube it. But that's something you can't YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I need to. I need to make a how-to. I actually have done a how-to episode, but it's been a while. Oh shit! Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. and like there's hmm. reviews and stuff too. Like reviews are a thing, so it's like you can kind of look up reviews, of, like of people before you actually like contact them. Hmm. That's definitely I helpful. Word of mouth would probably be big in that industry. It definitely is, but it's also too, it's like such a secret thing. Like it's like you're a lot of the I mean, a lot of the people that are seeing sex workers are married. And so it's like a it's like this secret life and it's like your your married friend is like, Hey, you should see this person. Then they out themselves to you like as you know, cheating on their wife. So it's like this whole like that's one of the reasons I think like the podcast it's it's kind of hard to uh sell people on or get them to like share with other people because it's like, oh wait. How are you? Why? Wait. Why are you interested in this thing? And then they're like, "Oh, what? Uh, I, I could, uh, what? What are you talking about?" <laughs> I, I think I, I do have a, a. I have to admit, sometimes when I am scrolling through Twitter and I see your thing, I can't like it because it's. Oh, dude! I'm, <laughs> <laughs> like I, I want to support you, but, I, <laughs> but for my own cancelizations. <laughs> awesome, um, dog. That is so real, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, to, to bring it up, but um, they gotta have a secret like button built in there so you can support like. your friends, but also like not let. That's what that's what my buddy yeah. said. He was like, "I'll give you a five stars on Apple Podcasts, but I can't write a review." <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I feel that's... like we do share a little bit there that we are like the stuff that people enjoy that they don't want to tell people that they're into. I think I think there's quite a bit of that with uh, with our channel as well. But, mm -hmm. sure. yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but i feel like i mean it's one thing to be like oh i love like vr videos versus like you know i yeah, spend, right, right. spend all my money on sex <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is there, i'm sure like you've met someone and like you you want to see them again right like maybe oh yeah it's like oh good great time with this person i want to see them again maybe you see them multiple times has there ever been like you got to a point where you like start chatting like oh how's how's uh, school going you know <laughs> like is there i, I mean i definitely I school. 
<laughs> I well, mean, I mean like, you know, like your PhD <laughs> no. program type stuff. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah, I know. Or like, how, but, how's the how's the husband? You know, how's he doing? Uh, oh man! Oh yeah. really? Is that is that really what it's? Oh, I mean, a lot, I mean yeah, a lot of people are like married and stuff. But I mean, I, I, I saw this chick in Raleigh and she's actually the first person that I ever interviewed for the podcast. But I mean, we're still friends now. And like, well, like I'll like text her and be like, oh, hey, how's it going? Like, I uh, I, probably, I think I saw her like I interviewed her for like the episode, like the first episode. And then she was on for like 100. Uh, but yeah, we're still good friends. Like it's, the cool thing is, is like meeting all these people. Like I've just like made friends through doing the podcast. Like I'm just like hang out now. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Do you ever your your podcast is an hour, right? Uh yeah, it's usually like around an hour. It can go longer, but yeah. Go longer. So if you're already in that category of two hours and that your podcast ends at an hour fifteen, are you just kinda like you know what else you want to do? (laughs) (laughs) I keep it professional. I'm a, a, okay. I got to keep it professional for the people. Um, I can be, it's, I mean, I'd be canceled so easy. They're usually like, yeah, this dude, uh, invited me for a podcast and propositioned me and didn't have it. Like, right. Not a, not a good look. Yeah. Okay. Oh man. Yeah. So like something that's already like jumping out at me is that you said most of these girls are married. Well, it, like a lot it, of people are in relationships. They're all the are the workers married? It, like a lot of the yeah, workers yeah. are married, or are you saying the clients? Oh, okay. Both. Oh well, no, yeah, a lot both. of the client, most of the clients are pro- like married dudes. Um, but I mean, a lot of sex workers are in relationships. Like I dated this chick; she was an escort uh, that I met uh, through the podcast for a little bit. Oh, nice. Um, so yeah, a lot of people are in relationships doing it. Yeah. Wow. I just yeah, it is it is interesting that which I didn't I didn't expect that at all. Like going in, I was like, oh wait, how do you do this? And you're like single, like you're like in a relationship, and it's like it's just like literally like a job, a job, you know? right? Like, yeah. You're selling your body, your time when you're at any other job, yeah. And all those people have have that's them, true have, have spouse or you know significant others. It's and it's making way work. less money. I'm making way less money. That's a good point. And typically not having orgasms. I don't know if that's always the truth. With, but all the jobs that I've ever had never come. They've been short. <laughs> not really? once. Not once. Wow. Okay. At work. Yeah. It's usually solo for me at work. So. <laughs> yeah. wow. Not even at lunch. <laughs> yeah. You've never like taken a. You know, a time. No, I haven't, but it seems like both of you have. This is something I wish never to pursue. gone home for lunch, maybe. Yeah. Just what's so oh, funny, like now, like, like my roommates, right? They're comics and we'll have like we'll use uh working on the pod is a euphemism for jerking off. So. <laughs> <laughs> working on the so like they'll be like, oh, I gotta go work on the pod real quick in my room, you know. <laughs> oh oh man, wow, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can so they just could they just say something else? <laughs> yeah. Do they have to say that? <laughs> I think that's a way of just like, just leave me alone for a while. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's that's a good way to do it. Got to go work on the pod. Yeah, last thing you want is someone knocking on your door for toilet paper and be like, I'm using it. You're like, in your bedroom? Yes! <laughs> do you... Worst... God, so many, so many questions. I... Keep them coming. Is... Do you have... A worker hey, that, that you've interviewed going for the podcast. <laughs> Keep him coming. Yeah, I um, love it. Is there a worker that you've interviewed where you've asked her a story like, "What's the worst client you've ever had?" And is there something that sticks out in your mind, like, uh, I mean, some, some awful customer or unexpected thing? I mean, a lot of uh, like actually, I interviewed uh, this uh, lady yesterday, and she like saw like Vern Troyer. What is one of her clients? Like uh, Mini Me. Yeah, yeah. And uh, oh. it's just like a lot of interesting. Like he had he had this fetish that he wanted to be like like uh, he brought it. He she said he had a duffel bag like literally bigger than him that he brought in with just a whole bunch of just like crazy like sex toys and stuff, and he wanted uh like he had these like metal boot spurs that he wanted like rubbed from his like basically his forehead to his like toes and to like wow. kind of like cut him a little bit uh Jeez. and this is all uh, everything on this podcast is allegedly just so everyone knows <laughs> it's all allegedly but wow he's, he's dead crazy. he's th- <laughs> yeah 
<laughs> his estate isn't very litigious either. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're talking about. I mean, you know, maybe we'll edit this out. Maybe. But yeah, we won't. You're talking about, but... you're talking about the, the guy or a guy like. No, no, Benny B. Vern Troyer. Yeah. He, yeah. he himself. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. She, she oh, asked, she's like, she's like, should I get an autograph? And he's like, why do you need an autograph? You just, I just fucked you. <laughs> wow. Okay. Dude, that guy fucks. Okay. Oh, yeah, he fucks. We have proof of it. There's receipts. <laughs> yeah. There's receipts. But I feel uh, like it's, I've just heard like just, just it's the fetishes that I've, I found out about are just like wild. Like, you know, I don't even, yes. Yeah, that I don't even know her things, you know. I can't like, imagine. Yeah, like what? Like, I think there was this one dude, I was talking to this lady, and his fetish was just watching cars stuck in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> like, legit. Like, legit. <laughs> I would like to go on there and say that I'm not laughing at the person for having that fetish. <laughs> no. Just what the surprise of hearing that it is a fetish. That is, that is I, dude, I just, me. I just don't know how it, like, I think it had like maybe he was like when he was a kid he got stuck in the back seat and the, the tires were spinning and he just got hard. Um, so he he wants this escort to to watch. This yeah, happen. They'll just, yeah, yeah, they'll just watch watch the YouTube videos of cars then, being yeah. stuck in mud. Yeah, then he gets hard and then they have sex. Wow! Oh, so he wow. has to start off that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my whole thing is like I wish I wish that I knew myself like that well. Exactly. That's a, good point. That's a yeah, great I'm point. Like, I wish yeah. that I was like, yeah, that's this is my my thing. I need the cars in the mud. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> this is my thing. <laughs> yeah, okay, is. wow. Is I it is it I like I didn't know where that was going, man? I was like, <laughs> like does he, they just watch videos like he can't do that at home? That's <laughs> Somehow simultaneously way tamer and way more wild than I ever thought it could have been. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Like, oh, what man. a wholesome fetish. It is wholesome, isn't it? Right? There's nothing dirty, yeah. really, about Honestly, that. Honestly, okay. I mean, from her side, you got to think about it. Like, when he says that, she's probably like, oh, my God, thank God. <laughs> yeah, right? That's, like, not bad at all. Like, I'm like, right. that's, like. I could watch these videos all day. Like that's... I would do that with him if he wanted me to. You know, <laughs> I'll watch right? these videos with you. You have to get naked a little bit, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. But I mean, I, this one dude. Uh, this is like a trucker, like a trucker grandpa, and this is like in Tennessee, and I think he wanted like he had like a baby fetish and shit, and so he wears like a diaper, and then he like shits in the diaper and then wants to be like sprayed off and then like shaved and then like spanked a bunch you know it's yeah it's all oh, i know things i never <laughs> things i never heard yeah I, I, yeah and obviously there's got to be some sort of something that triggers that but it's like that is a whole to do I mean, you're like, right. you're picking up diapers, you're, you're getting Wendy's or whatever. And then you got to time it right. You got to have a cup of coffee on top of that Wendy's or whatever. It's a lot and of just, money going into this pre right. priest. Exactly. Time. You, she's like, meet me at three and your bowels aren't ready at three. And it's like, well, I got to pay you for an extra hour because we're, we're just sitting here waiting. <laughs> Wait for it to hit. Yeah. Right, so that's the point. Like truckers who are their job, they're they're going cross country all the time. That's probably like a common client, I would guess. Oh yeah, right, they're away from home a lot, always in a different area. Businessmen, mm. lots of every. A lot of people are just seeing, like literally, don't live like if, like I'm in Atlanta. A lot of people travel from out of state, just like they they come to Atlanta for business, see somebody, and then like go back to their cities. Just, they only do it in like their cities they're traveling to for like business and stuff. Yeah, hmm. uh, that makes sense. Yeah, if I if I were to do that, it would have to be on the other side of the planet for sure. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to Asia. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's yeah. a good point. Have you been anywhere else outside? No, no, just yes, the U.S. Yeah, yeah just okay. the U.S. doing it. Okay. Do you have like a set, like a, a set list of questions, or or is each interview are they all different or, or specific to the person? Um, I do have, like, I do try to make them specific to the person, 
Um, but there are like, you know, like a lot of questions similar that I will ask to each person. But I'll usually like go to their website, go through their like Twitter and stuff, see what they're into. Um, and then start off up top, like, you know, like, what are you, what are you like doing? Like, I'll ask like, what'd you kind of do during the pandemic, stuff like that. Just like, what are you passionate about? Um, and then kind of go into like the like sex work kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, I try to, I try to, I try to make it as like individualized as possible while keeping like still asking some things that I definitely want to know. Hmm. Okay. Um, I'm fascinated. I, yeah, I, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, it really is fascinating. <laughs> I mean, it I, is. It, it's like getting that that cool uncle who, like, you can ask anything to. <laughs> it's like, what? Okay, what can we ask? Quick, like, I want to know everything. <laughs> um. It, yeah, I'm. I'm assuming that it's mostly. It sounds like the clients are mostly married. And it sounds like they have a very specific thing that they want done. It's not just like, I want to have sex with a different person. Well, I think, I mean, I think that, I mean, that's, there's, people are probably more just like normal. Like, I feel like those, like, those are like the, the dude stuck in them. That's like, he's like an outlier. You know? Oh, for sure. I feel like most people are just like, want the generic, regular, I want to have sex, you know? Okay. Yeah. Well, you're going to, I mean, you'll definitely have the weird ones, <laughs> but Yeah. But I, th- I mean, I didn't really know, like, what's crazy to me is, like, just learning, just talking to people is, like, so it's, like, so much more than, like, a sex thing for a lot of people. Um, a lot of people just, like, want kind of companionship, like, literally just talking to somebody else. Mm-hmm. Um, right. Are yeah, they also doing podcasts? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. yeah. They, they should. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, oh, keep going. Right. But no, yeah, like what I was saying is like, I didn't, when I first started, right, it's like, I didn't really know why I was kind of like doing it beyond like, literally, I want to have sex with somebody kind of thing. Um, but then after doing it, I was like, oh, wait, this is, there's like more to it. Like, I like at that point, I'm like seeking like, you know, like connection with somebody a little bit. I didn't want to be vulnerable, be in a relationship um, and like feel like not be judged or whatever. And then I was like, oh, this, this is the best thing for me at that point, you know? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. (laughs) What's like the uh, you've you've seen different sites for who for all these different people. What's like the biggest price range you found? Like, what's the cheapest? What's the most expensive? Uh, I mean, cheapest is probably like uh, maybe like around a hundred ish dollars for an hour. Uh, maybe probably for like a quick visit, like fifteen minutes, kind of thing. Um, hundred for fifteen minutes, huh? I'm in the, I'm in yeah. the wrong business. And, and then, then I, uh, he's writing it down. That <laughs> I am not. No, I take notes on everything. <laughs> Sometimes I just scribble because I'm thinking about stuff I'm going to say. No, no, I yeah, yeah, scribble, I understand. You know, okay. And then probably most yeah. expensive is like probably like probably like two thousand dollars for like three hours. Who's okay. got that kind of time? <laughs> well i mean those like longer dates they're like not they're not just like fucking the whole time it's like usually like going out like kind of like going out to eat or something doing like a social activity potentially and then kind of going to the room and hanging out and shit yeah oh, i wow. think I, would, I mean obviously you'd want to prefer that the big debate i get a date i get a meal maybe a me maybe even a movie where we just don't talk at all and we're just watching <laughs> this movie together <laughs> And then it's and then it's a horror movie where some guy gets stuck in the mud and he gets a phone. And he's like, "Holy <laughs> shit! I found out something." <laughs> this is my thing. Yeah. Uh, but it's not one, one thing I will say that it takes money to do this. It, mm. you, can, oh, you can't sure. really, you can't be poor doing this. Really, I spent like the first mm. year I did it. I spent like ten thousand uh, dollars. It was a lot. Of <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. wow but it sounds like it, it was great though i mean you're oh yeah, i do not i do not regret yeah. it at all like right, yeah. Yeah. wow money yeah, well wow. spent okay definitely i wouldn't have a podcast you know i would i might not be here right now yeah you, 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 <laughs> interesting you, at other times you're taking if you take a girl out there's like you know there's more time and money invested than than a <laughs> a oh, quick yeah. thing. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, and, seen, uh, there's so many benefits to this now that I'm, uh, yeah, they, they, 
it's literally sure a no is. strings attached relationship. You kind of, you pretty much know what's going to happen, and yeah, you don't have to. It, they're going to be great, you know. Yeah, they're great, you know. So, son of a bitch. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's just it makes, you know. We all three, we all see the wheels turning on Steven's screen, oh, yeah, right? Sure. If you're not, okay. if you're listening right. to this on audio, go to our YouTube page to watch the video version where Steven of someone have a revelation in real time. <laughs> Everybody should do it. That's all. <laughs> That's, yeah. You yeah. know, unless you, unless you don't want to. But, uh. Yeah. No, mm. I'll, 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 I'll tell my wife what you said and I'll say <laughs> <laughs> or the sure. podcast or the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> what? So like everybody in regular jobs, and maybe it's just, I feel like everybody hates their, their job. Is that the same tone with, uh, mm-hmm. sex workers? Uh, some people do. Some people like love their jobs. That's kind of one of the questions I'll ask is, you know, like what's, you know what's your favorite part of the job least favorite what are like some like challenges or like frustrations you kind of have within your job because it's like yeah like not literally not every day is going to be a good day at your job like no matter what um so yeah it is like it's a lot of maybe dealing people that are assholes like having to have like a secret life where you can't really talk to anybody about it um you know a lot of people like there's screening that goes into this like before you see somebody you pretty much have to tell them who you are you might have to send them your id you might have to send them like social media linkedin something like that and so like a lot of people not wanting to necessarily screen and just the whole like stigma around sex work being like such a negative thing to where like yeah it's just it sucks for and it's like you're just like the like a lot of times just like super vulnerable not protected by police or anything if something were to go happen just like a lot of negatives is there a percentage of uh workers that have security with them i mean i i would would hope so i mean but but like you said like this is pretty vulnerable you don't know what you're getting into Uh, yeah i mean a lot of people um some people do have like i guess I guess, I guess protection maybe. Um, but a lot of times it's like if, uh, there's screening that kind of happens. So it's like, um, if they look that person up, like, it's like, if I were to, if I send a picture of my ID to somebody, you know, that it's less likely that I'm going to do something. Okay. It's a fuckery, you know? Cause it's like, well, I know who you are. I know everything about it. I know where you work, you know? Right. Yeah. Um, so it's like that kind of thing to where it's like the screening is a big de- big deal to where it's like you don't necessarily have to have that like person on site that's going to like bust in if some shit goes wrong. Hmm. Yeah, I could I I don't think I could do this now. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's what I hear a lot of people a lot of people once once you mention that whole thing just the whole like well I'm going to need to know who you are that a lot of people, a lot of people do kind of get nervous about that, but uh, I mean, as long as you like literally just like look up because th- there's like a, there's reviews. Like I was saying, you can go on social media and like see kind of like get an idea of like people's personality, what they like, what they don't like. So you can like actually find somebody um, that you kind of want to see and be like, oh wait, this is a reputable person. They're not gonna. They like nobody wants to steal your information and try to blackmail you on some bullshit. Like it's like. I would They're rather, just trying to make I would rather see you again and get your money again than like try mm, to okay. black like it's why would I want to do that? It's like any store like re it's it's a lot less cost of or it's a lot more cost effective to get a repeat client <laughs> yeah. than a new client. Yeah. 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 But right. I definitely get like I was definitely nervous kind of at the beginning like oh wait then should I really send my ID to somebody but then I was like I want to make them feel comfortable, and if that's what it takes to make that happen, then fucking let's do it. I want to see that person. That that is funny because I do. I think I would also, <clears throat> excuse me. I think I would also be uncomfortable sending my ID because I'm like birthday. It's got the driver's license number, all that stuff, and it's like I won't even show her my driver's license, but I'm <laughs> asking her to put a stranger's dick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Of her, you yeah. Know that's what what's like. like how, how, it used to be a murder. There's got to be huh? some sort of trust here. Can yeah, I know your gonna... birthday? No. 
Okay, so you're afraid of like identity theft or something, or like she's gonna dress up like you for Halloween or what's, well, what's well, happening? <laughs> Wait, do you think that's what identity theft is, Stephen? <laughs> dressing up like somebody <laughs> yeah, for Halloween, <laughs> only as a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no financial stuff involved. Just going as that person. Right. Yeah. I'm I'm scared of a lot of things, but uh, wow! But this is great because. It's, but there's there's also <laughs> referrals too. Like there's a lot of people like that will want an ID, but in some instances they'll be like, if you don't want to give me that information, I can take like references from other people that you have seen before. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So if you've seen people, you can kind of build up that like people will give you a reference for somebody else. Wow, that's, that's so, good. Yeah, because I, at first I thought you were talking about like you need to like. I would, do I call my cousin and be like, hey, man, can you just, like, say? <laughs> like, yeah, like, yeah. like, yeah, like yeah. a job? <laughs> yeah, it seems like a write a formal cover yeah. letter and all this stuff. Yeah, like, I'm know. not giving you a reference, dog. I don't know. I've known my friends, neighbors my... for 23 years. Can you... <laughs> Mark is a very passionate and giving lover. Yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> God. So... I think probably everybody you hear about the what's the most interesting or wildest or or crazy thing you've heard from doing this podcast. Hmm. Craziest thing. Okay, well this is I guess is maybe okay, so one of my friends, right? She worked at a like a agency in New York City. And there was this dude who he was supposed to come at the end of the day and he wanted her to like basically like save all of the condoms from like all of the dudes that she had seen previous to him. And then like basically put it in a cup and then he wanted to just like okay. drink, drink all of their jizz. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. You asked, Jeff. You <laughs> I did. Asked. I did. I did. That's on me. I but did that. <laughs> Wait, he has to request that pretty early on because she's like, yeah, oh, yeah. I've, you know, I don't usually save them, Either. but from now on, I will. <laughs> yeah, no, she, he, yeah, you definitely got to, that's, that's a beforehand thing. You got to let him know, like, mm -hmm. could you, you got to pay extra for that too. Like, oh, yeah, you're carrying around that in a, <clears throat> I'm assuming a Ziploc or in a hazmat suit or whatever, but Starbucks also, cup. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a Starbucks cup. Oh jeez! Can you imagine? That's on the is this my coffee or yours? Oh, what, what the hell is that? No, you, it's real it's easy. Yours. You just put a little baby on board sticker on the side of the cup. Uh, you know. uh, there you go. <laughs> oh wow, that's crazy. And also, you got to know, like, it, you either have to ask them really far in advance, or like know when the busy season is. Where you're just like, oh well, you can get that amount in a, in a week or two. That's, that's wild. I don't, they're not saving it for a week. That'd be wild. Like, ugh, that's a yeah. <laughs> See, a day, a day, that's fine. But a week or two, that's... <laughs> yeah, it can be left out for a day, right? Yeah. I regret asking this question. No, <laughs> I, I, I don't. I think, I think our, our listeners are very intrigued. I think you're... Yeah. You're, no, Jeff, if I were you, I'd have asked, what's the second craziest right. story? Yeah, you've heard? Right. I, see, that's why I went wrong. I, I went too hard. <laughs> Should have turned it back one notch. <sighs> oh, boy. It, it was, I guess, I, like the, a whole night's worth from the night before or whatever. Or, yeah, from that day. Like, so he was from like, I guess he was coming in the afternoon. Like, he was coming to see her in the afternoon. Arriving. And then he basically I, wanted her to. Arriving. Uh, yeah. Arriving. Um, <laughs> Okay, so in a typical day, she would have seen a few clients then. Yeah, at that agency, yeah, where she was working, she'd see oh, like a few people. Wow. Yeah. So they're making a thousand or two a day, maybe? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, that, that's definitely possible. Because like the agency is going to take probably anywhere from like 30 to 50% from, from them just for like having a place to work and like screening the people. Like if you work at the bunny ranch, the bunny ranch takes 50% of your earnings for working there. So a lot of people like will want to work like independently rather than like for an agency. But then that requires you to like screen your own people, have your own place. Like, right. Yeah. Pros and cons, but you get to keep like, you know, more, more of the, uh, 
I guess, like income. Okay. In in arrival, I think. So in a, in arrival. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, All the stuff you wanted to ask, but we're afraid to do so. <laughs> yeah. So I oh. feel like we. What are the questions we should be asking for people that want to know? What a. That, okay, so what's the number one question you get asked from somebody who like hears about you doing this, finds out that you you're a guy who knows things about this? What's like the most common question? Oh, uh, I guess everybody always wants to know like why or like how did well everyone wants to know like how did it how did it kind of like come about? That's one of the things which you kind of answered before. It's like I just had not been. I, been out of a relationship you know and i'm like well, I, I want to have sex let's do it right um i'm trying to think what else like people pretty much ask hmm was there anything okay well i'll let you answer that first and then i got another one <laughs> all right let me let me hit let me hit that one first and then <laughs> when you first start was there anything like unexpected for you like you're like or something that changed your mind about everything uh like you had an idea before you went into it. And yeah, like, like okay. I guess the whole relationship I didn't know the whole relationship I think think thing blew my head just like people can do that job and then also be in a relationship because I mean one of the first people I saw, you know, she's kind of talking about like doing stuff with her husband, hanging out later that night, you know, like he like knows what she does and then I was like, "Oh wait, I didn't I thought that you'd have to be like single, you know, to be having like sex with like you know, people." Um, but just like through meeting people that were in relationships and married, I was like, oh fuck, it's not like, it's literally not that weird of a thing. There's plenty of people that are like, you know, I mean, I, I was in a relationship for a little bit with an, like, you know, with an escort and like, you know, she's working right. and like, we're still fucking and like, it wasn't a thing at all. Was... Yeah. And oh, also wow. there, there's gotta be something that's like, <laughs> like, I, I'm sure there might've been some sort of like. I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. And then they make a thousand and two thousand a day. You're like, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it would have been different. Like, cause I, we both, when we got into the relationship, it's like, I already knew what she did, you know, like right. that was her oh, job going into it. That's true. I feel like it'd be different if like we're in a relationship and then she's like, Hey, I want to do this thing. Then I might be like, well, you know, yeah. have a, have, somebody might have an issue with it. Right. It's like I knew up front what the situation was, so it's like it wasn't like a weird thing, you know. Plus we're like already friends and shit, so it's cool. Okay, so you were you were friends before or did you meet her and you were like, Man, she's something special. Well, like, I no, I need met to her, see her again. I met her through the podcast and then Oh, like, okay. We, yeah, I met her through the podcast and we just started like texting and stuff and then became friends and then like started dating like that way basically gotcha okay but i will say it was funny like so she did, like had like an only fans uh so like i basically was like running her only fans for her oh, and so like i ha would just like get the messages from the dudes and then have to respond to the dudes and pretend to pretend to be her <laughs> oh that's great oh, yeah <laughs> dude that's I I love that. So talk about that for a minute. So obviously you are replying, and that's what a lot of people don't understand is like most of those accounts, especially insanely popular ones, someone else is answering their emails or like, oh yeah, daddy, whatever the fuck, you know, whatever however they want yeah. to talk. Someone else is doing that. They're not even seeing that person. And these the, people are just throwing. Yeah. Literally, yeah. Like so many of the people that are real popular on OnlyFans, they have assistants that like work for them and right. are the ones like responding to all the messages and like doing all this. Cause it's like you can't do you can't do that post. Like if you're if you're getting like all these like hundreds of messages a day, it's like you can't respond to that yourself. Or that's all you're gonna be doing is literally just responding to messages. So it's like they have people that like help them out or like run their account for them. Like they'll be like, I'll just take all the pictures, take the videos. And then you do the rest of the only fans, you know? Wow. So is there, is that a job you can apply for anywhere? <laughs> if I could be like <laughs> only fans a, assistant, yeah. A ghost writer for a, <laughs> a content creator like that. I like, cause well, think about it. Who, who knows what horny bros want to hear? Horny Crazy bro. horny bro. Oh, they're a horny bro. Yeah. Right. 
Who wow. better yell than exactly what they want to I was having to come up hear. with these sexy, sexy headlines and shit. No. Uh, <laughs> and you're a comedian, so did any clients be like, damn, and you're also funny. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> you're something special. <laughs> <laughs> You should yeah. do stand up. Well, come see me tonight at live. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, where were you? Uh, <laughs> that's that actually, there is a thing too. Like, you just, I'm going to be at, come, you know, maybe you find me at, uh, I'm going to go to this place and be in the audience at this show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think the best thing, if you want to be an assistant for someone's OnlyFans, first thing you should do is. Post it on Facebook as a status that you want to do that and then see. You'll probably th- people hit you up that way. Mm. Shit, I don't have Facebook. Damn it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's a trap. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. My mom's on there. I don't know if I want to do that, but maybe Twitter. Maybe I'll do Twitter. <laughs> Anybody listening to our podcast needs a ghostwriter for whatever sort of corny <laughs> content, just let me know. I'll I'll respond. I'll chat people up. Talk them off whatever you know yeah you'll have some sort of dry humor in all your responses and uh. be very complimentary (laughs) mark do you remember when we we were walking through amsterdam once Mm -hmm. and uh our little our tour guide took us through the well he was telling us about the red light district right Mm -hmm. and he was like oh he's like by the way Another thing people do here is they see uh, sex workers and he's like, this is, if you want to do that, here's where you go. This is what to expect. And of course we were with our significant others at the time and we were just like, okay, okay. But the one thing he said stood out to me, he's like, it's, it's, uh, it's this much for 15 minutes. And I don't know if you remember this, but it was like, and, and they will, finish you in 15 minutes they are professionals <laughs> so you know that's what he said i was like oh shit okay that's confident jeez right yeah no you i'm wondering if you, if you do that a bunch dude you can get good at it man right it's i'm your, wondering ten thousand hours man yeah you dude. put in your ten thousand hours you get good I, some I of the professionals it's a, it's a business tactic because you know there's guys in the audience or the group that are like mm, i bet i can go longer i bet they can't finish me in 15 minutes <laughs> Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. Then the finger yeah. goes in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> they Got must him. know exactly what to do to to every guy. It, yeah, that it, walks in. They probably look at it uh, like a dick and balls, like they're diffusing a bomb. You know, <laughs> like I know exactly what to do. I've seen one of these before. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna massage here, twist these, cross these wires. <laughs> right, yeah, I'm sure. It, All right. I'm somewhere, some of the better ones, I'm sure, know exactly what to do, right? Oh, dude, yeah. I mean, yeah. the more the more you do with something, like, that's one of the things I'll ask, you know, I'm like, the, you know, there's, the more you do something, the better you are at it. At the beginning, is there, like, a learning curve or, like, a waiver period when you're, like, not good? That's one of the things I always ask, is... Okay. And and yeah, there's always like a learning curve at the beginning. Some people are like I still, you know, I'm not like that good or whatever. Uh, um so it's kind of like, like stand up comedy in a way. <laughs> dude, yeah. I mean like <laughs> you literally the, the the time that we have, you know, obviously we go out to open mics and try things out whatever, but the only time we have to work on our craft is like in front of people and working those 5 minutes at a time. Yeah. Wow. That is great. Yeah. Going back to that bomb diffusing reference too, like if you're starting out as a sex worker, I'm sure it's difficult too. You know, if this guy paid for an hour, it's time's almost up. I still haven't finished the job. I'm sweating. You know, which how do I? Oh, I gotta dude. beat this thing. I gotta get a bug in your ear. It's like try, try the <laughs> asshole. Try the asshole. We tried everything, dude. We gotta get that. Yeah, time. You can't be staying over the time. They'll be like, okay, it's you know. What's happening here? Oh uh, yeah, there's nothing, mm. nothing <sighs> more that'll make a limp dick than showing someone a watch. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. All right, just that's like a challenge for the episode. <laughs> Decipher what the fuck Mark just said. <laughs> <laughs> every time, look. Every time I I have to go. What time is it? And I look at my watch. My dick's limp. It's never hard. That's what I'm trying to say. 
Ah <laughs> 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 oh, man. Yeah, you can edit that part out. If I get in a if I get in a car accident and I die, I don't want my daughters to hear that part. That's for sure. <laughs> they're gonna be like, Dad had a podcast. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> And elliptic. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, right. it's it it is it's fascinating, and it's weird that everybody it's so prevalent, but but still still like so hidden. Nobody is talking about it, but it's going on hundreds of thousands of millions of times every day all over the country and the world. Yeah. I don't know how allowed this is, but we were talking about uh, Vern, that guy. Yeah, yeah. Is, is there any other clients that you know of? Is that allowed to? Can we ask that? Is there any other is there famous clients you know of? That, client? Not really you know that I know of. Like what? Are, like I've one of my friends told me like he runs like a or he helps like works at like an agency in Boston and he was mentioning just like he's had like Grammy recording artists like famous people like kind of like book through him but uh he yeah he didn't say any names okay, okay. but but that's the one that's the one you know about is the <laughs> that, that literally was yes <sighs> like literally yesterday she told me that oh Never. my god wow jeez you know, you, you mentioned that with him, like there's like you know, like boot spurs, and it's like rubbed on his body. Like, I don't know what's out there. You know, <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like I'm missing <laughs> out so much. <laughs> I everything, I guess. You know, I mean, no, dude, I, there's if you can think of it, man. There's somebody likes it. Yeah. Can I hypothetically hire a worker and say, "Can you find my fetish?" Let's tell her I don't have one. Find it for me, and she tries all this stuff. Is that possible? I mean, Can I do that? I mean, yeah, dude. I mean, you're, if you're paying the money, yeah, hell yeah. Okay, she'll bring out like a bag of tricks, so, you know. Dude, I, I mean, I you doubt it. I, I guarantee you, she breaks out a clipboard and she'll be like, "So tell me about where you grew dude, up. Yes. <laughs> what was your childhood like?" Dude, so many of those like fetish sessions to where it is like wanting like trying to find out about the client it is like a lot like most dominatrixes before you see them you like filling out a big questionnaire kind of about you so that they kind of will tailor that to you like individually so it is wow. like yeah like like literally asking a lot of questions before no way okay yeah because they're not like <laughs> just like oh touch here do you like that touch here do you like that mm -hmm. it's like okay. so much so much of like that like it's like psychological stuff man Performing arts, customer support. Uh, I, I, Psychiatry. Can I do this? <laughs> can you do it? Yeah, dude, you totally do it. But you just gotta. I like to. You got to fuck a dude. That's the only. Uh, in, okay. That's a that's a good point. You mentioned there's a, obviously a lot of women that do this. Have you interviewed any men who do this? Yeah, yeah, I uh, think I've had maybe like four or five on the podcast. Yeah. Most of the market uh, is caters to men still, so it's like guys that are also seeing uh, other guys. Um, the one I've only interviewed one like straight male escort that like catered to like he sees women mainly, um, but for you the can, most part, you can only it's... fuck once every other day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this dude works out his refractory period is very short <laughs> oh yeah wow okay jeez yeah well, how, how do you how do you shorten that how do you, what's <laughs> you're asking the wrong guy <laughs> okay okay <laughs> work out <laughs> okay, okay. a lot of pre-workout <laughs> <laughs> so right. and the the guy who is uh so the the other guys, the, um, the male escorts, they are straight male escorts, but just do do stuff with dudes because they're just they're do, doing it for money. Uh, a or lot of it, well, yeah, a lot of them sometimes they're like maybe buy. Like I mm -hmm. interviewed this dude in Arizona, and like his he had a thing that he called the straight best friend experience. You know, to where it's like almost the situation is like. 
imagine your buddy coming over to like watch the game and then he just like starts sucking your dick or something you know? <laughs> <laughs> like he'll let you do stuff to him and he'll fuck you but he won't like you know like suck your dick and that's the straight buddy experience okay <laughs> the what is straight the best buddy experience? <laughs> your buddy but your friend might be able to fuck you you know okay gotcha gotcha, gotcha. i've yeah. got shitty friends i've got <laughs> no. i can't even find friends that'll help me move no no <laughs> yeah it's like your buddy just came over and then is like oh wow i've never done this before you want to suck my dick and then yeah. <laughs> wow <laughs> and a couple of good good buds then yeah <laughs> I, I get it. You're watching the game. This guy gets tackled. You go, God, you ever wonder what it's like to have your dick stuck? But I can thank you. Dude, one of the things I didn't really, I guess, like, just like with the whole, like, dude, it's like sexuality. It's so, like, there's just so many different facets to it. Yeah. Like, I was interviewing this this guy, right? And he was saying that, you know, he's like, I'm not gay. I'm not attracted to men, but I love sucking dicks and I love getting fucked in the butt. Yeah. Mm. What a, I was like, but he's like, but what a, I'm like, what a conundrum. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like, he's like, I'm not gay, uh-huh. but he's just like, I just like getting fucked by dudes. Wow. I was like, okay. That's he's only attracted mean. to dicks, not the whole guy. Just that, the dick. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, you can be attracted to like, you know, maybe if you see somebody like, oh, that's a nice, you know. Pair, pair, pair of ass. <laughs> pair of ass. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice ass. Nice you know, but ass. but you're like, eh, but you know, that's that's you know. I I do wanna yeah, I do wanna like create more stories of the best friend experience. Come over, watch the game, sit down, just to see where it escalates, you know, like watching a, a, a commercial comes on. Dude, you know it would be weird. <laughs> <laughs> you suck my dick. <laughs> you know it would be cool. Yeah. <laughs> like, how does it start? Going from best friend to <laughs> It's like you're just playing Xbox and then it ha- it just he, he gets real. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys think we could get self published writing funny erotica on Amazon or, <laughs> or like Goodreads or wherever it is? Maybe. Totally. So. Hmm. Huh, yeah, sure. All right. Another job opportunity wow. here. Thank you, Tank. This is a lot of uh, opportunities <laughs> this for me. Is, oh, this is so much. Yeah. Uh, how, how how long uh, do we have? Or, or are we, is that we're at an hour and ten? Hour. I think I think we got to have Tank on again at some point for sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Always down. Yeah, man. <laughs> um, maybe. Each, Tell us again the name of the podcast and where to find you and that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So the podcast is Full Service with Tank Smith. Uh, if you search Full Service Podcast, if you search Full Service with Tank Smith, you can find it. Uh, we're on Twitter and Instagram at Full Service Pod. Um, Full Service Pod.libson.com is the website. Um, but if you search Full Service Podcast, you will find it. Oh, nice. nice. Thank you guys um, for listening. Please follow Tank um, and check out his comedy too. He's super funny. So please follow him on there. Uh, Thank you so much, Tank. Thanks thanks for having me on. Yeah, Yeah, I I do feel like we didn't get into your comedy career all that much. And and we should have. (laughs) (laughs) I I, I hard vowed for Tank. Super funny. You you won't regret go seeing him. Hell yeah. Yeah, Uh Do you have any shows coming up soon or, or anytime? Uh, just just got the old open mics happening right now. Okay, but uh, I post I post about any shows like on uh, Twitter, Instagram. I'm at Tank Funkadelic, um, and also Tank Smith on uh, Facebook as well. I post about any shows, so if you want to find out what's happening in Atlanta, uh, give me a follow, and I'll I'll let y'all know what's up. Sounds good. Hell yeah, man! Thank you. Well, thank you. Yeah, all. Thank oh, yeah. you for for enlightening us and and educating. This is us. very enlightening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah. yeah. It really is. <laughs> it's it's good to know somebody that knows. Yeah. Got to know. All right. Right, right. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank we you. Will, uh, see you all next week. All right. See you guys. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>